Own the cold this ice season with the Ice Defense Pro Series from Cold Nation Outdoors. The patented ice defense system attaches directly to any 12 volt flasher or camera and utilizes powerful thermal flow technology to circulate warmer water from below to melt ice, slush, and snow. No more iced up holes and frozen lines. The Ice Defense Pro Series is a must for serious ice anglers. Find yours today at a dealer near you or online at coldnationoutdoors.com. <laughs> Man, I'm set up about 30 feet away. I'm just a little gaffer. But, there you go, a rod on the wally on a dangler. Or if he's a little small, we'll put him back. But I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing up here, which this thing is just gonna revolutionize how I dead stick. Up here in Northern Manitoba, we get cold. We're cold for five months of the year, like real cold. And we always have issues of having to go and clean out your dead stick holes consistently going over there. This is going to change how I dead stick. This is the Cold Nation ice defense. And it basically pulls warm water from the bottom, circulates it on the top of your hole, and it completely stops it from freezing over. And now I can totally detect without any doubt whether or not my dead stick has a hit or if there's actually a fish on without having to worry about coming over all the time and cleaning off that hole. So. Definitely check it out. It is not a gimmick. This thing fully works even in Northern Manitoba in the coldest, harshest conditions. Hey everyone, James Holst here with In-Depth Outdoors. And one of the new products that I've been experimenting with this year is the Ice Defense from Cold Nation. If you've been watching our shows, you've undoubtedly noticed that there's a little blue box and a blue tube hanging from my flasher. And what that product is intended to do is to help keep ice holes from freezing over. Uh, I spent a lot of time fishing outside of the ice house, so it's something that I really wanted to give a try. And I've received a lot of questions about, well, how does it work at 10 degrees? Or how does it work at zero? And honestly, um, I've been out on the ice fishing. I haven't been doing any product tests, but that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna just keep things pretty similar to the way I fish. I'm gonna punch a couple of holes. I'm gonna put an ice defense in one unit. I'm gonna leave the hole next to it uh, just open. Uh, I'm not going to scoop all the ice shavings out because that's the way I fish. I don't carry a scoop. I'm just going to clean it as well as I can with the auger. And uh, we're going to put a thermometer in the frame with a digital counter and we're going to see how the product fares. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a side by side with this product and an air bubbler. Some guys have said that an air bubbler will do pretty much the same thing. So we're going to put it to the test and see how it turns out. Alright, so the way this works, where the ice defense is set up to work is there's a little control box over here with a dial on it. Uh, you can turn it on or off or select any power setting from on and off. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn her on, crank her up, and see how well this will keep ice out of the hole. And the principle it works on is there's warmer water further down in the hole. So it's lifting that warmer water and distributing it up near the top uh, to melt off that ice. So we've got that in place right now. You can see that the water's disturbed. It's moving around. There's a little slush left in the hole. We'll see what it does to that. We're gonna start the timer. Get it somewhere where we can see it. I would say that this hole here probably got a little bit less slush than this one, but just to make sure, there, there's some extra. All right, let's let her run. So that was 30 minutes. Uh, just from watching it, uh, it took about 
14, maybe 15 minutes for the ice defense to just completely chew up or melt all the ice that was in this hole. And if you remember at the start, I kind of threw some extra in there. So it does a really good job of uh, if you uh, accidentally kick a bunch of slush in there, it's going to clean it up. Uh, on this side, well, that'll tell you what you need to know. Uh, not the greatest. Of course, it's cold. I think the uh, temperature here stayed right in that 7 to 8 degree range. Not a lot of wind today, not a lot of blowing snow. I would think that uh, one scenario where uh, you know any type of tool that's going to try to use uh, uh, the warmth of the water uh, to keep it open uh, would be blowing snow. Obviously, if the snow is just blowing into the hole, that's going to be an issue. But the ice defense unit is working so well, it's actually starting to undercut the edge here where the water volume is coming out of the tube. So pretty impressed. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a second test. I'm going to clean out this hole here, get the slush out of it, and we're going to drop an air stone in it. And I've never uh, used this before, so we're going to check it out. But uh, we're going to see how that air stone with an, you know, an air pump compares to the ice defense unit. And what I'll do is I'll throw a similar amount of slush back in each hole, reset the timer, and see what happens. All right, so here's what we've got. Uh, fresh batteries in an aerator that would be used in a minnow bucket. I've got a little uh, weight there clipped onto the transducer cable, just holding that air stone down in the water. I want to try to make it as you know, fair a comparison as possible. And uh, I'm pretty logical that if that air stone's right at the surface, it's not going to work really well. So we're going to weight that down there. The distance uh, into the water is very similar between these two. So I'm going to drop it in and turn it on. Yeah, you can see the, the air coming out of it. I'm going to start this. All right, and we're going to challenge it a little bit. How about a one handful for the uh, Airstone, two and a half for that one. And definitely more in the ice defense. We'll just see how it does. Let it buck for another 30 minutes and we'll come back. Shut them both down here. So what conclusions am I going to offer here? Um, ice defense chewed up the slush that was in there. Did a pretty good job with that. Um, doesn't look like the air stone will actually chew up much ice in the hole. Uh, it was pushing ice formation off of the side. So wherever the bubbles were coming up, uh, there wasn't ice forming there. But definitely doesn't do anywhere near as good a job as the ice defense unit. Uh, one of the other advantages, things that I like about the ice defense is you can just run it right off of uh, the, the marking unit, just plug it in and go. You know, if you're going to run a bubbler like this, you're going to want to try to find the next, uh, a different power source because D batteries are not cheap. And uh, on this particular bubble, bubbler, I'll get about a day and a half or two days of runtime. So the D batteries will eventually become kind of cost prohibitive. But uh, temperature never got above uh, 10 degrees. I think we're still hovering right about nine. That's pretty cold. Um, I'm comfortable saying that if you left the ice defense in that hole and kept power to it, it would keep it from icing over pretty much indefinitely. So uh, it was a nice little test. Uh, certainly not the, uh, the end all beat all cover all, all scenarios. I've never experimented with the air stone before, so there might be you know, slightly better ways to go about using it. But overall, uh, it's a pretty cool technology. Uh, not a lot of weight and a very efficient little motor in there. Uh, the manufacturer says that off a 9 amp uh, hour battery, you know, the kind that you'll find in most fish finders, that unit will run for about three days. So a lot of runtime. So that's it. Um, I'll look for more opportunities to kind of experiment and learn more uh, about how this works. But uh, so far, pretty impressed. So one of the products that I added to my arsenal this year is the Cold Nation Outdoors ice defense pro series and today we came out in the lake and it's about three degrees fahrenheit so as you can probably imagine or if you hole hop like me your hole and line freeze up continuously and the cold nation 
Pro Series eliminates that entirely. If you look at my hole right now, it keeps that water running continuously and it actually runs off my unit battery without really sucking a lot of power at all. And it just keeps my line and my hole from freezing up. It's probably one of the most innovative things that we've needed for ice fishing for a very long time. So I'm really happy I added it to my Markham. Pete with Cold Nation Outdoors, the creators of Ice Defense, bringing you an instructional video today on how to install your Ice Defense Pro Series onto a basic flasher setup. On behalf of Cold Nation Outdoors and the whole Ice Defense team, I'd like to thank you for making your purchase of the Ice Defense Pro Series, and we could not do this without your support, and we cannot wait to see your pictures and videos of your Ice Defense unit on the ice. Now let's get into the unboxing. Now once you open up the box, you'll see that the Pro Series comes with a couple different things. You have the power cord with the positive and negative clips that go on your battery and you also have a travel bag so if you ever have your ice defense not on your unit you can keep it in a safe place in this bag and you also have possibly the most important thing in this box two small gold molex clips and those slide right onto your battery terminals and allow you to have two spaces to run two separate things off the same flasher battery so this will allow you to run the power from your flasher unit as well as the power to the ice defense unit. So now that you have your ice defense pro series out of the box, the first thing you want to do is grab those gold Molex clips that I mentioned earlier in the video and slide them onto your battery terminals. Next, you're going to hook up the power from your flasher unit to the corresponding clips, positive and negative. Next, you're going to take your power cable that came with your ice defense and again, plug it into the correct positive and negative clips. Then you're going to grab your ice defense pro series and take the power cable that comes out of the bottom of the control box and plug it into the other power cable that came with your ice defense. Now we can turn the control knob and see if it works. And as you can hear, the ice defense is extremely quiet and once it's in the water you won't even hear this buzzing but that's all the sound that it makes. So now that we know we've got good power, we'll turn this back off and we can get on to mounting it. Now that you're ready to mount your Ice Defense Pro Series, pick which side of your flasher you want to mount it on and take out that gimbal screw. Next, you're going to place the hole from the Ice Defense Pro Series in line with the screw hole from your gimbal screw and you're going to screw that back in. And you want to make sure this is tightened down as much as you can because obviously this holds your flasher steady. All right, now you can see we've got it on here and it's nice and tight. Still works. And the nice thing about the Pro Series is you can mount it on the left side of the flasher, you can mount it on the right side of the flasher, you can have it vertically like this, or you can have it horizontally so the knob is right out here. And you can also even uh, screw in a hole here or on the other side for a custom mount. And I've even saw, seen on some flasher units, people will mount it to the base of it so that it's out of your way. That's how simple mounting the Ice Defense Pro Series is to a basic flasher setup. Now it's time to hit the ice and get that ice defense melting ice. 
From everyone at Cold Nation Outdoors, thank you so much for your purchase. We hope these tips made installation easy for you and we cannot wait to see you with our product out on the ice. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more Cold Nation Outdoors and Ice Defense content, please check out our Facebook page, our Instagram page, and our YouTube channel, Cold Nation Outdoors. We hope you have a great ice season. Stop ice formation in its tracks down to 20 degrees below zero with the new Ice Defense Pro Series from Cold Nation Outdoors. Lightweight and highly portable, Ice Defense is compatible with all flasher and camera brands. Ice Defense draws in warmer water from below to circulate at the top of your hole, creating a powerful thermal flow to melt away ice, slush, and snow. Spend time fighting the fish, not an icy hole. Ice Defense, own the cold.